All right, guys, here you see me walking up this ladder with the ag hose, ready to spray this roof here. We already sprayed the um, main house roof, and oh, oh, here we go. Typical, typical. We got ourselves, we got ourselves a customer helping us pull hose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll happen, you know. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yeah. You don't want that going on in your job sites. I'll tell you that much. Then they're like, oh, geez, I got bleach all over my clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure you do. All right. So here we go. We got my guy here. He's got the 10 gallon per minute booster pump going. Soft wash factory. Booster pump spraying the roof up top over this breezeway going towards the garage roof here. And we're just doing just the front whole section of this roof because that's where all the mold is and algae. Mainly just has black streaks on the roof, not too much moss or lichen at all. So it's actually a very good roof. Get the cardboard there to protect the cedar shingles as much as possible. Um, Alright guys, yeah, we're going to be spraying um, the left side of the garage roof here. Um, and, oh yeah, and by the way, I always spray every single roof, no matter what the roof is, no matter what's going on with the roof. Asphalt shingles, cedar shingle roofing, we use 6% all the time. We're not going to mess around with it. Why even go 5 4% and then you don't end up with the right result? And then what? You're going back, you're spraying it again. You... And even if you have to drive back there, then just forget about it. And uh, all right, so right here we got uh, my guy here. He's spraying all the painted wood siding with the water hose, 10 gallon per minute, with the uh, red gun on there, just for some good flow. Make sure it's really nice and wet. Any overspray he catches with that. And uh, we also got all the downspouts bagged, so there's no. SH dumping all over plants or down the driveway or on any grass, killing anything. Also, guys, a good tip just, uh, you know, using extension ladders, you should really always have a stabilizer arm on there. It helps out so nobody really has to support the ladder for you, like foot it for you. You know, uh, you can just stick it in the ground or have the feet on the ground there. That arm there will really save you, so you're not swinging back and forth or anything like that. Just don't you don't want to be getting hurt, you know? Then then how are you gonna make any money, right? Also, you really want to keep your driveway wet, your all your siding wet, so you don't have drip marks going down the siding. If you know from the mist of the sh or overspray at all, and always like we have painted siding right here, always do a test spot, save yourself. And we're going to be taking a closer look at this soft wash pump from the soft wash factory this weekend here. And, um... Alright guys, that's just a little uh, video I got for you for how we do some roof washing around where we're at. If you guys want to see any more, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Thank you.